work in construction and transform the face of Scotland. From Marshall College to the VA in Dundee, the country owes every one of its most iconic landmarks to bricklayers, joiners, architects and civil engineers. Just a few of the many rewarding careers this varied sector has to offer. Whether you're working on site or behind a drawing board, choosing construction means contributing to Scotland's heritage. If you enjoy practical work and have a knack for technical processes, this industry could be your perfect match. When you look at construction, you obviously think about a digger driver or a builder or a brickie, but there's so many more different roles in construction. Um, that can range from helping out in HR and our office side of things. Pre-construction is a vital part of our industry. Without our pre-construction guys, the guys on the site would not have the work and vice versa. Um, there's also your engineering and site support that are obviously really helpful. And then you've got the guys on the site on the ground. They're really experienced and obviously they need to be trained very well. So we're always looking for well-trained, good, reliable people to join us. I think enjoying the construction industry, there's completely different aspects to it. There's office work, there's workshop, there's out in the yard, there's different stuff. So it's, there's an array of jobs for anyone really. If I was speaking to a young person about a career in the construction industry, I would say just go for it. Um, apply for roles and maybe consider doing a modern apprenticeship. Um, I think you learn a lot on the job and um, there's lots of opportunities for growth and development. It always amazes me how little people know about construction and I think there's still a old-fashioned, if I may, perception of the trade when actually it's a really vibrant and excellent place to be right now. In Scotland, nearly 240,000 people work in the construction industry. That's nearly one person in ten in the Scottish workforce. There are over 20,000 businesses operating in construction nationwide and the industry is expected to need around 47,000 jobs between 2023 and 2030. Teamwork, budgeting and customer service are some of the skills that are in demand within this industry. The median advertised salary for jobs in this industry is £32,200. Interested? My name is Nicola Fraser. I'm the director here at KR Group Scotland, based in Newbury, outside Ellen. KR Group is a steel construction company. We fabricate steel here at our site in Newbury, and we install site on several locations over the UK. We also have a cladding division, so we put the cladding panels onto our new steel buildings. As a director at KR Group, my role extends across pretty much all areas. Um, I've been here for a very long time, started off here almost 20 years ago and at that point I was helping with invoices and finance and contract management really in terms of the paperwork. But since then I think I've done a bit of everything, including working on the, the work sites as well. Um, but currently I coordinate everybody's workload and manage um, the team here at Lonehead. I am responsible for all the HR, all the marketing, the agenda of working in schools and increasing the profile of the, the industry um, in schools and universities. We have 43 members of staff here at KR Group in total right now. And in, in addition to that, we currently have five students on board as well. My role in the company involves um, dealing with our health and safety, environmental and quality accreditations, managing staff, um, I'm also the document controller and I do a bit of marketing as well. The best bit about my job is um, the supportive team that I work with and also the variety of my role, which I love. Uh, when I was at school, I really enjoyed like, practical subjects, so, well, metal work. Uh, I really like woodwork as well, practical, and then, well, the standard boy, PE. <laughs> um, then, it was kind of fifth year, I thought, right, I don't, I don't want to do sixth year, so I left to do well, found welding. The best part of my job would be having a laugh with the guys. That would, that would be the best part. But just once, once you've welded something, it looks nice. That's the best part. It, it looks nice. It's, a, it's, it's like an artwork. The most satisfying thing about the job for me is seeing the end product when we're finished, um, getting good feedback from the clients, um, just makes all the pain through the project worthwhile. So day to day tasks for me would be um, reviewing drawings, pricing works, um, placing orders, managing engineers and draftsmen, 
managing guys on site, sometimes going out to site, carrying out surveys. One of the, probably the most rewarding projects that we've worked on was the um, council buildings down at Fraserborough where we did a, a like state-of-the-art type rain screen cladding. We put a lot of input into the design and um, it turned out really nice when it's finished. So within construction there's a wide variety of career opportunities for young people and I think it's only when you work within construction that you start to realise how many different skill sets and how many jobs exist within the industry. Um, within Balfour BT we recruit future construction managers, civil engineers, quantity surveyors, um, as well as social value leads like myself. Um, but there's so many roles within construction. I think when people think about construction, in the first instance, they always think of traditional trades, like painting and decorating, joinery, electricians, etc. But um, when, once you start working in construction, you realise all the other roles that exist, whether that's um, within finance, within legal, within commercial, um, within health and safety. Um, so there's huge, huge amounts of roles within construction and there's really jobs for everyone. Um, it's just a case of doing a bit of research into the different careers that exist. The young people that we work with and engage with bring plenty of fresh new ideas, enthusiasm, which really helps and inspires our workforce and, hope, and raises the bar um, once we're engaging with young people. The skills I find important in the construction industry is definitely communication. It plays a big part in our role whether we're dealing with um, our colleagues on the site or our clients outside of our site. Um, also teamwork, we have to all work very closely as a team and you have to all understand what's happening. Um, and reliability, we all have to rely on each other um, and that's part of that teamwork as well. At KR Group we're very passionate about raising the profile of the industry in schools, colleges and universities. We've been asked to go in and talk to children as young as seven years old about opportunities in construction. And interestingly enough, maybe a week ago or two, we went in and talked to a unit of brownies, which are girls aged seven to nine. And uh, I was, I'm always quite amazed that particular young girls have never heard of various trades in construction. For example, they couldn't tell me what a joiner is. I think only two out of 30 knew what a plumber did. You know, they all knew what a shop worker did, or, you know, they could give me examples of typically female um, perceived trades, but not um, construction trades. So we, we, I enjoy pieces of work like that, and we go out and talk quite a lot to, to young people. I've worked in construction for almost 20 years now in various roles. Things have changed hugely for women in the industry. I have to say I've always been fortunate enough to feel very supported in my role here at KR Group, but that has certainly been built upon year on year. It is very much seen, I think, as a traditionally male-dominated dominated industry, but there is lots of space for women as well. What surprised me the most about coming into the construction industry, I was 17 at the time, I was one of the only females um, in the north of Scotland on our site, um, and actually I was very much supported and helped through the process. Um, starting off in construction, a lot of young people might think that um, they'd be stuck in the same job the rest of their life. Um, like as myself, I started off as a fabricator welder and just gradually worked my way up through the ranks to, to be a contracts manager. Um, so as long as you're hard working, um, not, not afraid to, to stick in and take a chance, I mean you'll be able to carve out a career and go wherever you want really. My advice to any young person looking to get into the construction industry is just to go for it. Um, there's lots of opportunities available out there um, and you know I was a newbie to the industry a few years ago and I've learned so much on the job. So even here at KR Group in our small team there are many members of staff who started off life as an apprentice, perhaps leaving school with very little qualifications who've now successfully moved on to contracts management positions, making an excellent salary, company car, you know, lots of training under their belt. So we try to emphasise to young people that maybe you don't feel particularly academic or your grades aren't particularly great at school, but that doesn't mean that there isn't an excellent career path out there for you. So in construction, lots of young people who maybe much, much of my team, much of my construction team here at KR Group, perhaps weren't very literate at school. They will tell you that themselves. 
Many of them have neurodiversity issues, so attention hasn't been particularly easy for them. Um, sitting still hasn't been particularly easy for them. But out here in the construction world, they've completely flourished. You know, their timekeeping is excellent, their aptitude is excellent, their skill level is, is really great. So often young people maybe think that their options are limited because they, they aren't so strong at, academically. But we always tell young folk when they come here that it doesn't just have to be a job, it can be the start of an amazing career. For, for anyone that's not um, considered a career within construction, I'd advise um, people to seek out experiences within projects that are maybe being constructed within their local area, um, to be proactive and try and get maybe short work placements on sites, to learn about all the roles that exist within the industry and, and, and get that sort of first-hand experience of what's going on. Um, I think once you're on a site, site like this, it really opens your eyes to the, the variety of careers that exist and the variety of skill sets and backgrounds um, and experiences of people that's needed to deliver hugely complex projects. So yeah, that would be my one piece of advice. Just be proactive and put yourself out there um, and, and try and get that first-hand experience on sites. I'm looking for an idea where where a young person's skills are. So what do they enjoy doing? What is it that 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 really gets them enthused, you know? Um, so what what are their passions? What are they what, what are they good at? So not just the, the qualifications at school, but maybe on a CV a little bit of information about what you know, do they do they enjoy getting up in the morning and going hill walking? You know, are they, are, are they, do they really enjoy spending time with their dog or their family? You know, all these bits really bring that application to life for me. When, when we're reviewing job applications, um, I think it's important to stress that it's not always about a qualification, although that can be important in some instances. We're looking for young people that can de demonstrate additional qualities, that have good communication, um, that can work well as part of a team. Um, but really, when it comes down to it, for me, we're lo looking to find young people that have got that enthusiasm and drive to learn and improve, which is difficult to assess from um, an application. But it's, it's something that we're always looking to pull out at an interview stage. Um, we're looking for young people that are sort of willing to go that extra step um, to kind of learn and improve. So um, it's not always about qualification not that's on paper. We're looking for young people that bring additional qualities um, for roles um, and that are perhaps proactive within youth groups or they've got other interests out of work. Um, that can be really important to be demonstrating on, on your CV as well. Okay, so if I was interviewing someone, I would be looking for that the energy coming, you know, the the open eyes, keenness to get into something that's unknown to them a bit of bravery that they're going to get into something that's unknown to them but they know they want to do it um, realistic ambition uh, no expectation, more a willingness to find out for themselves you know, what they can earn, what they, what they can achieve and what they can offer that would be the main things for me when I was younger I always knew I wanted to work in the construction industry or part of the industry overall um, and one big thing I would say is research it as much as you can. Um, it's a huge achievement and big part to be in construction, being able to see a building from nothing, from a field built all the way up or a bridge that's just been built, it's, it's a great achievement um, and I think you really have to research the industry and know what you want to do because there's so much out there so many different roles and varieties and there's probably a job for everyone in the industry just where to find it.